Hi, I'm Darren. And I'm Lawton. And we are from Words Like Daggers. And here are our crazy tour stories. <laughs> Should probably tell the first one. That's, uh, All right. I wasn't there for that one. Kinda, kinda <laughs> he says that because he was so blackout drunk that uh, he was not mentally present in that situation. But, uh, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to really pick one story, I'd say, because we've had a lot of weird things happen. But this one, I think, takes the cake. We were uh, hanging out in Iowa City after playing a show in, in Cedar Rapids. And if anybody knows Iowa City, it's party town. The University of Iowa, you know, people get tipsy, people get wild. So we were hanging out at the bars and uh, having a good time. And sure enough, final call came, bars closed, and uh, we just kind of emptied out into the street with all the other drunks. And we are just hanging out in a circle, talking way too loud, you know, the way that people do. And all of a sudden we look over and we notice, hey, we have an extra guy. Not only do we have an extra guy, but he's hunched over and he's got his dick in his hand. And he's just, and we're in public. And it's just limp and he's just tugging on it. <laughs> just tugging on it while we're talking. So, so I kind of, you know, we kind of look at him and then we go, hey man, what's up? And he's just like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. And he's apologizing, <laughs> uh, which was really weird. So we thought, all right, this guy is just beyond. This guy is next level right here. So we just we just shift over, kind of move him, cycle him out of the whole group. And uh, sure enough, shifts over with us, just tugging on his flaccid junk, you know, dangly bits all hanging out there. And so uh, a few of our guys are really drunk and really weirded out by this. So they start fast walking away from this dude. And uh, that was a really bad idea because the whole movement thing, he was into it. And he started uh, chasing them down the streets of Iowa City with his dick in his hand, just kinda jumping like this, tugging on his flaccid dick the whole time, just chasing him. And I mean, he, he wouldn't give up. It was really disturbing. I have no idea what this guy was after. And he was apologizing the whole time. That was the creepy part. Sorry, sorry man, sorry. It's really, really blew my mind, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you got one now. Oh man. Yeah, uh, we were playing a show in Norfolk? Norfolk? Oh, Fall? Norfolk? I don't know, you said it wrong either way. So. Uh, it's pronounced weird there, but in, in the Midwest it's pronounced Norfolk. And we're playing a show in Norfolk, Virginia, and um, I think we're like the second to last band that plays or whatnot, but um, we, we get all of our equipment on stage. It's really, really low ceiling stage, so you know, throwing your bass and whatnot would be, wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, but, but we don't care. But we don't care about yeah. that. But first song in the set, um, I'm getting ready to do a bass swing around, and there's a light, a black light, that goes this way on me. So I go up and hit it, and the entire light smashes, and it crashes down on my back. And it cuts my Converge shirt, which was pretty f pissed me off first off. <laughs> and then uh, it sliced my back, and I have a huge scar on my back from it. Not to mention, it just scattered glass all over the stage, and I don't think you were wearing shoes. I was not wearing shoes that night, too. And the rest of us were just kicking this up, and people are getting cut up. I mean, I think we had, like, pieces in places, you know, it was, it was really nasty. But that's, we hurt ourselves all the time. I mean, honestly, we get a little bit too rowdy. I think I've caught a guitar or bass in the face at least three times. Uh, I get a nosebleed about one in every five shows just from getting hit in the face. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just scars, you know, just getting torn up, but that's, I mean, that's kind of life. You just hope, you hope you don't hurt yourself so badly you have to go to the hospital because nobody can afford that. Yeah. That's, just, there you go, tour tip number six. <laughs> Never go to the hospital. Have your friend with the, the shake or have and, insurance. Uh, you know, stitch you up or whatever. It's, do whatever you have to or, or have insurance, but that's for the birds. <laughs>